Uh, this is Nathan from Wacky Mountain Science Center. Good morning. Good morning, Ashley. So Ashwin. good to have you here. And you know, we were just we were just chatting off camera about all kind of all things yeah. like fun, nerdy nature things. But <laughs> I think that you know, there, I think that most people that come to the valley really have a peaked interest in in our natural surroundings, and that's mm -hmm. really where Walking Mountain Science Center comes in. Yeah, you know, so our place in the valley is as the premier educational, environmental educational organization. Our mission is to awaken a sense of wonder in everything around us, which isn't too hard when the when you get out there. <laughs> right, right, exactly. And yeah. you know, something that I um, certainly have fallen in love with since I moved to Colorado, you know, I came out here from Florida mm -hmm. and I started doing some hiking and that was not something that I did at home in Florida. And my, I remember my, my family just being like, you're, do what are you doing? And, you know, like seeing some of these places that I was exploring, but um, you know, you guys really take hiking to a whole new level. It's not just going out there and, you know, kind of crushing a peak and coming back down. Mm -hmm. There's so much more involved in that. Yeah, exactly. Um, we offer hikes five days a week if you want to come out with us. And even on our 14er hikes, you know, we'll try to find a way to, a time to stop and share something with you. But if you are the kind of person that gets out on, you know, a regular basis on your own, but you want to have a bit of a deeper experience, or maybe you've passed by that same old tree a thousand times, and it looks a little different this year, and you're a little you're curious about that. Um, we have a bunch of special programs as well that focus on the educational aspect and trying to uh, open up some of the curiosity about what you're seeing out there. Nice. So, okay, so let's talk about some of the, the hikes that you have coming up mm -hmm. that people can join in. Yeah. So if you go to our website, which is walkingmountains.org slash hikes, um, we, you'll see different hikes most of the days of the week. But some of the ones I'm most excited about are uh, the fourth Tuesday of each month, we have a featured hike series. So this is new this year, and this is featuring a few of our favorite trails that highlight something unique. So there's a different theme each month. So in June, coming up at the end of June, we're gonna go hike in Stag Gulch near Edwards, one of the best wildflower hikes, and we're gonna talk about wildflowers. Yes. And hopefully you bring your camera if you wanna photograph wildflowers, if you wanna learn the names of wildflowers, or if you just wanna learn a little bit about how they're important to everything in our mountains as opposed as more than just being that pretty mountain flower you see on the side of the trail yeah um you can come join us then and then we'll be doing that series through september so okay. we'll be focusing on streams and kind of the importance of water in the west in july uh going to down near leadville on a hiking on an old railroad bed up to a high alpine tunnel cool. and looking and learning about that railroad history in august and in september as the leaves start to change we're going to talk about forest ecology and about our aspens and learning about how our forests are changing um, year in, year out. Ah, oh, that sounds really, really fascinating. And, you know, and I know that on top of that, you guys also have a few other special programs when it comes to hiking. We do, yeah. So a few of those this year are coming up in a few weeks. We're offering a kind of day of learning and as well being a volunteer training for a peak stewardship program with Colorado 14ers Initiative. So this is great if you want to find a way to meaningfully, meaningfully volunteer and support um, protecting our alpine habitats, but it's also great if you just want to learn about Leave No Trace and learn about the alpine environments and have a fun day out. Um, so that's coming up. We also offer a forest bathing therapy program on August 5th that is just another way of slowing down and kind of exploring yourself in nature. And uh, it's we don't have the date nailed down yet, but we'll also have a hike through history program with the Eagle Valley Historical Society coming up sometime in the fall. That's so fun. So, I mean, there's obviously there's something that can, you know, pique just about anyone's interest. And you guys have just a huge number of programs for adults, for kids. And, oh, man, of course, we're out of time, so we can't talk yeah. <laughs> about all of them. But, Nathan, thank you so, so much, much for coming on. on. And um, make sure to look for him, too, you know, guiding some of these hikes. And if you want more information, you can go to walkingmountains.org slash hikes, and you can get yourself signed up. And what a great way to get outside and have a brand new experience and learn something new and, and maybe meet some new friends along the way. Right now, we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to have a look at your local weather forecast for maybe some hiking today coming up next.